Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how to be more effective in your next actions. And really, have you ever thought about or, or felt a little uncertain of how to move forward and you know you just weren't sure what those next steps were, what those next actions were, and has that prevented you from moving forward? So put um, hashtag action if you feel like you've been stuck and not sure where to go, you didn't have the clarity to move forward. You know, I've been there, um, you know, all of last year, uh, not all of last year, but uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, that's when, you know, I looked at things and said, okay, what I'm doing is no longer working. It's time to pivot. But I had no clue on what I was going to end up doing about that. So what do you do when you are know you need to change, know you need to do something, but you aren't sure what to do? You aren't sure of anything uh, in terms of the results, the outcomes, or anything. Well, um, well guess what? The, the short answer is you just got to do it. And if you don't do it, then you're not moving anything forwards. And I've always been a long believer that if you're not progressing forwards, that you are moving backwards. There is no standing still because everything else around you is moving. And if you are standing or, or uh, if, if you believe you are standing still, you're falling further behind because other things are moving forward and progressing. So make sure that you just get out there and do it. The, the reality is, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, um, there is no certainty. There are no guarantees in life. There are no results in life. Uh, there are no guaranteed results in life. <laughs> there, there are always results. The question is, are they effective or ineffective? But, uh, you know, and now let's look at that. We're, we're into 2021 now, and we're moving forward in our business. And a lot of people, you know, get that hoorah, um, it's a new year, a new me, and is it, is it any different? What's going to make it different for 2021 for you to have a better year than you did in 2020? What is that that's going to be different? What about you specifically is going to be different? That's the key is what you do. So what are you going to choose to do to make it better in 2021? So some of the things that I'm going to talk about here is uh, coming from the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. And when it really comes down to it, they, we have so much going on, so much on our plates. And I don't know if you guys have seen like piles on your desk or stacks of mail that you haven't gone through or, you know, just emails piling up and, and you just get to feel overwhelmed. That, that's where I was at, and these, these tips have been able to help me to move forward in having progress in that area. And one of the things that I find um, the most liberating is to treat your business, and, and sometimes even your things you do in your personal life, a little bit like an assembly line. So if you remember, Henry Ford came out, um, in the early 1900s and built this assembly line where each job has its own task. Now, for you and your business, for you and your life, your personal life, um, that's going to be kind of time blocking. But the reason I call it an assembly line is because there are some steps that have to happen first before you can move on to additional steps. So the first one is you got to take what's in here or what's spread out all over your desk and you got to collect it. So the first step is you're gonna just brain dump. Get everything out on paper, get everything out digitally, however you wanna store it, get it out there, collect everything, put it in a pile. And that's gonna be how you're gonna start organizing. Um, in the book, he calls that the inbox. The second step is you're gonna sort. You gotta start sorting. Do I? Does this need immediate attention? Does this need any attention at all? Is it? Is it garbage? Um, is this time sensitive? Does it, uh, you know, does it re require other outside input? So you're going to start sorting these things and organize them in 
whatever system you you choose i personally i did not um subscribe to the system that he did and and jill and i my wife um we, we kind of have another system going on but it's all about organizing something that works for you because if it doesn't work for you you are not going to do it so make sure you try some things out tweak some things test it and see does it work better or or is it more effective is it less effective do you enjoy it more all those things go into it but you've got to go into that sort mode and the last one tip three is you're going to decide what to do with it so as you get into this um as after you've sorted you got to decide what to do with each of these items now the cool thing is if you decide okay that's going to be done at, at a later date and you you put it on the calendar and you're going to do it on that date well when it comes time to go and to control your calendar and you've time blocked that out you now already know exactly what you're going to do you don't have to be uncertain about your next actions and that's what this is all about you know the the question what do i do next you want to make sure that you've decided what you're going to do next on each particular item long before you actually do it and by doing that in time blocks you can stay focused on the gathering the sorting and the deciding phases so that the next step is acting. And then kind of a bonus tip is make sure that you are very clear on what that next action is. So for example, um, I knew that I needed to go pick up a, a box from the UPS store today. And so what did I need to do? Well, the first thing is I, I needed to make sure that I got there before it closed. So I had to go look up what time it closed. And then the next step was I had to decide what time I was going. And then the next time uh, thing was to actually get up out of my chair from my desk and go do it, to drive to the store, to go in, pick up the package, and come back home. So there's all these next steps. Be very clear and intentional on what your next steps are. So just remember, brain dump, so you're gathering, sorting, and deciding. When you can do those up front, when it comes time to take action, it becomes way easier to put the action into place because you aren't deciding at a time when you may not feel like doing it. And when you already know exactly what to do, you might look at something and say, oh, well, I've got 30 minutes. I'm going to take that drive to the UPS store and go pick up the box that came for me because you know what you need to do when it needs to get done and you can kind of fit it in a time window that works for you because the, all the deciding is already done. And so that's a fantastic trick that I have learned is don't try to decide what the next action is and do it at the same time. Split that part up because you can be much more clear and intentional on decisions at one time and then just do what you already decided. So what I want you guys to do is we're going to play a little game here. So drop below the very first thing that pops into your head when I say this. What is your very next step? Be specific, be clear, be concise. Drop it below. What is your very next step? Don't spend more than three to five seconds thinking about this. Make a decision and put that somewhere where you know that you know exactly what you're going to do when it's time to take action. So take that tip. I hope that helps everybody, and have a great night.